some 21 year old um, student already wrote the software to, to weed that stuff out. The like, professor <laughs> said, I would never have realized it except I got three of them the same. <laughs> they, there's another one, you could do art too. You could type in like, um, we, were, we were playing around, but they typed in like Hattersfield Falls in the style of Monet, and it just like banged out a picture that was like Monet painted in Hattersfield Falls. Yeah, it's really creepy. No, when are we gonna get a real life by robots grave? Yes. Oh, I'll take you for some course. Yeah. Notice is hereby given that the Town of Shandaken Planning Board will hold a, hold a public hearing pursuant to Section 274 and or 276 of state law and as prescribed by the district schedule of area bulk regulations of the Shandaken Town Code for the purpose of hearing the following applicant. Regarding an application for a special use permit submitted by Vivian Welton for a parcel located at 313 Plank Road, Mount Trumper, New York, 12457, indicated as SBL number 14.13-2-26, located in a residential 1.5 acre zoning district, the applicant would like a special permit in order to convert an existing studio into a guest cottage. The public hearing is scheduled for January 11th, 2023 at 6.30 at the Shandaken Town Hall. Anyone who would like to make comment regarding this application may do so during the public hearing. If you are unable to attend, you can send any comments you would like read during the public hearing to shandakenbldg at gmail.com or PO Box 134, Shandaken, New York 12480. All comments must be received no later than January 11th, 2023 at 3 p.m. And we did get one email. Uh, yes, of course, in support. Um, 
I'm writing in support of Vivian Welton's application for a special use permit. I have been Vivian's neighbor for many years and have always found her to be friendly, courteous, and helpful. I am confident she would operate a guest cottage with all possible consideration due her neighbors. A mature and intelligent woman, Vivian knows how to conduct, conduct herself to the benefit of the greater Phoenicia community. Sincerely, Bill Cola Grande, 319 Plank Road, Phoenicia. Is anyone in the audience here to speak about this project? I know we have many on the docket tonight. Okay, is there any further comments from the board about this project? Okay. I move we close the public meeting.
They didn't have uh, pointing her on the agenda for the uh, town board meeting, but at the same town board meeting that they appointed you for another term, they didn't appoint her to be the liaison. So they may not have been informed. So that's, that's what I was going to ask if, if if she had agreed to it. Yeah. yeah but she wasn't at, at, she wasn't present when you um, yeah. made that decision? No, she left. Oh, I see. Yeah. So nothing was mentioned to her about that possibility? As far as you know? Okay. Yeah. But you, you, um, you talked to her about it? Or you mentioned so it to said, her? I didn't know. Um, why Dancy, they she said they didn't see it. She didn't know I was and Stout, and we haven't gotten, gotten back to them. Okay. They haven't gotten back to us. Oh, oh, this was before the, the interview. I don't even know. Yeah. Okay. Vivian was at the meeting. Gina was that? You were at the last planning board meeting, the county one? I was, yes. Oh, um, so that, that was this was brought up at the last county meeting? Not this, no. no. No, but there should have been. Um, there was, there was something brought up, and I think I. Full moon should have been. Yeah, so I took a I picture of, of their yeah. recommendations. I don't know that that got referred to county. Should it have? It is yes. Okay. I don't think we brought it up during the meeting. Cliff, that's what they put up for their recommendations for the full moon. Okay. You, you can hold on. Okay. So there's a sign-in sheet for each. Oh, there is. Oh, yeah. Okay. This is Wodensky, the A, P, F, U. Yes. Which we have. Yeah, just the one. Oh, 
establishment to work. That's funny. The least you could do. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, that's nice. <laughs> Did everybody who wants to speak for this, for APFU, sign in? Notice is hereby given that the Town of Shandaken Planning Board will hold a public hearing pursuant to Section 274-B of the State Law and as prescribed by 105 Article 3, Procedure to fil Filing Subdivision Applications of the Shandaken Town Code for the purpose of hearing the following applicant. An application for subdivision was submitted to the Planning Board by Donald Brewer on behalf of APFU LLC for a parcel located at 6280 Route 28 in Phoenicia, further identified as SBL number 13-2-1.110 located in a residential 1.5 acre zoning district. The applicant would like to subdivide the existing 8.793 acre parcel into two parcels individual lot acreage to be lot one 4.147 acres lot two 4.646 acres the public hearing is scheduled for january 11 2023 at 6 45 p.m at the shandaken town hall 7209 route 28 shandaken new york anyone who wishes to make comment in regards to this application may do so during the public hearing if you are unable to attend you may send any comments you would like read during the meeting to shandakenbldg at gmail.com or P.O. Box 134, Shandaken, New York, 12480. All such comments must be received no later than 3 p.m. on January 11, 2023. And we do have one email regarding this application. Hmm. Um, to the Shandaken Planning Board, I live at 1319 River Road across the highway from 6280 Route 28. I have concerns about the runoff of water from the proposed building site, both during and after construction. I would like to know how it can be expected to impact my property, which, I'm sorry, which includes a well not far from the road serving my rescue horse barn. If that well is contaminated or compromised by the runoff, it would be a disaster for myself and the horses. Can you ensure that the design will prevent any negative impact from runoff? Sincerely, Donna Sender. <laughs> The acreage is, I think, slightly different than what was spoken there. The lot one is uh, 4.5 acres and lot two is 4.292 acres. <clears throat> this lot is mostly in the 1.5 R1.5 residential. Uh, the very back up towards the top of the mountain there, it is uh, in the zoning uh, R5, uh, which with the post here is not anywhere near that. Um, so Mr. Wodinski is looking to build a uh, two family house uh, on lot two using the uh, 
the same entrance as uh, a driveway into his existing house on lot one. Uh, the septic has been approved by the uh, Ulster County Health Department and DEP, uh, engineered by uh, Mr. Joe Bullock. <coughs> It was an interesting piece since we had to uh, miss the, uh, the utility easement there and, uh, and meet all the setbacks of the uh, zoning of R1.5. Uh, but everything was doable. And as far as this runoff, it's going to be uh, built as to the specifications of the building department, which uh, they have to put up silk fencing and uh, take care of any of that type of runoff. Uh, I don't foresee anything flowing across the highway, but uh, I don't see it. I don't see an issue there. So. Um, Anything else that uh, I'm missing here? We show a topography at uh, two foot intervals. And you can see it's very steep there. I show the top of the ridge and uh, a yellow hashed line. Uh, might not show up. Do it on the black and white copies. The top of what ridge? Oh, I see, I see the word there. Yeah, it's labeled. When, when you say the top of the ridge, it, it looks like the uh, area that it's going to be built on is pretty level. Yes. And then from there it goes up? Right. So why would it be the top of the ridge? Wouldn't it be going up from that point? I, that's that's how I'm reading it. Am I reading it right? It's right here. It's the top of the ridge. Uh, but is this going up or down? It's going. Yeah. Well, it's the top coming from here up, and then it, and then it goes way up. Uh huh. You mean the high point on the property, on the flat, on the flat no, part? No, the yeah. flat part. Yeah. You're it's, slow, it's like a gentle slope. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then it goes back and it goes up. Okay. Now, regarding that correspondence we added, are there any culverts going from that property across uh, under Route 28 uh, for any water to? Uh, uh, down to the, to the south of uh, Lot 2, there's a, there's a. There's none shown. <clears throat> yeah, there's a ditch all along the. There, it's showing on there. It's a uh, line of 28. I can see it in the console. Three dots. Yeah. Line of three dots. We did dots. ask this question last time. There is no culvert, nothing going under 28. Right, there's a ditch along the, our side of the highway. It shows on the map there. So there's really no way for yes. the water to get over to, to that, that, to that concerned neighbor's property. Yeah, see this line right here with the, dash, with the dots? Yeah. That's a ditch way down through. Of course, one around here. No, I'm wondering about it going right. Yeah, it's okay. Not in front of this property. Mm -hmm. You and those on uh, utility. Is that the utility? Probably. And this, it runs uphill as it heads west, so the water actually runs in that ditch back this way.
no, the acreage, I'm sorry, on the legal notice was taken off the application. So if it's, if they're not matching, it's just, I literally copied it right off the page. Okay. Uh, So it's possible to plant trees that close to the septic area? the street and I'm just curious um, if he can answer a few questions for the group um, what is the size of the house um, what is the intention of the property I mean it looks like it's a it's a residential property I mean we're here because there's all these Airbnbs coming up in, in our area they're like all around and you know on weekends they're like pretty noisy and you know we're just not that you know, happy about another property that's going to be Airbnb, Airbnb with a bunch of cars. Like there's one right down, right next to this, two, two, two addresses down. Sometimes there's like eight cars there on the weekends, people partying. So maybe this is outside of the scope of this hearing, but I'm just curious, like, is that zoned for an Airbnb? Like what are the restrictions of if it's a two-family house and, you know, it's just going to be rented or, 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 you know, sold, parceled off and sold, is that the intention? Parceled off and sell it? If this is an LLC, it probably is going to be rented. Is that the intention? Oh. <coughs> Mr. Wadinsky, um, the same thing you meant, of you, um, he built that, uh, uh, or he uh, refurbished that big apartment house across from the Emerson. Um, and when, after that, we realized that housing is really needed in this town uh, because, partly because of the Airbnbs. Um, so his, his interest is to have a two-family house to rent, rent out so, so families can find us. So housing. for like full-time rentals? Yeah. All right. Um, yeah, because uh, machine making at the moment is very difficult to find. Well, for, for clarity's sake, I'm sorry to interrupt, but just for clarity's sake, the issue before this board is the subdivision. Yeah, I the construction that. of the two family isn't going to require approvals from this board, okay. just from zoning okay, and building. Yeah. Okay. Well, then my question was answered. Thank you. Do you want to speak? No. So then, Anna? Um, Anna is really so with it, 6288. Um, so my concerns are probably not appropriate. They're in line with this gentleman. Um, do have one question about construction, but again, maybe that is outside the scope of this meeting. Are they able to just dig? There's not gonna be blasting. Um, just, just curious, you know, like, are they I mean, Mr. Rydensky's not here to speak. I can't imagine what they're intending to construct is going to require any kind of blasting. I don't know. I mean, no, it's, it's going to be a family home. It's, you it's see on the dirt. Lot. It's not on. But you know where the lot is, right? So you see he, what you see, you Mr. Sessions. I know where it is, but you can't see it from the road because of the, the trees. What is the proposed structure on? It's, it's, it's that field. It's in the same. 
sort of, isn't it a front right. hill, or is it the clear? To the right of the existing building. So, okay. Yeah, like in the in the large yard to the right as you're looking. So it's not up the okay. Yeah. On the same plan. Oh. Okay. As far as what's underground, no one knows until they start digging. Right. But Lansing's pretty atypical here. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I can't imagine. I mean, I just thought it's a long shot, but I'm just, just curious, you know. Yeah. Very, very expensive. What's the square footage of the house? Can I ask that question? I'm curious of I don't really remember what is it is. Yeah, is that a scale of one and two or sixty feet? So it's it's actually larger than the existing house over there. Yeah. Okay. Is he planning to, to live in the original house himself? We're really just, this is really just the subdivision. The, the building is um, I mean, it's sort of a placeholder on this map to show that it can be done and meet the setbacks that are required. It just shows that there is room to put a house there. The only question is the subdivision, you know. But right, but the purpose of the subdivision is what, I don't know, it seems, it seems like the reason we're all here is like why, yeah. what's, the, what's the reason for the subdivision is, is the question yeah. that we're all here for. So like, you know, I guess that was one of my concerns, like you get the, you get the approval for a subdivision and then it turns into a giant Airbnb later on down the road. Mm -hmm. After the subdivision is approved, it's like yeah, I'm, I'm the neighbors aren't happy with that. But the the Airbnb license, I will say, is a separate process. Yeah, it's a completely separate process, um, and I believe they're out of non-occupant licenses, right? We've capped out absent owner, but resident owners can still apply. Okay, define resident owner. Um, resident owner is anybody who owns, lives full time in Shandaken and rents property anywhere in Shandaken. So they don't have to be on the property. They just have to live in the town full time. So full time? Okay. Yes. It has to be their primary residence. Oh, primary. Yeah. So I have a question. Uh, can I, can I, before, so okay. I just want to address the subdivision question. I think I have the answer. Okay. Uh, just, Don, if you could just slide over a little so I can just make eye contact. Hello. So. He's got the property, it's call it nine acres. He sees the demand for long-term rental housing. To put a second building, he can't put two residences on one lot, so you divide the lot. When you divide it in, and subdivide it into two, each one has to be a legal lot. And because these lots are in a one and a half acre zoning for the most part, at 4.2 and 4.5, they would each be a legal lot. So by subdividing, he now has a lot that he can build that second building on. And you just answered my question. Oh, okay. <laughs> and also those lots that you subdividing themselves as four and a half acre lots could be subdivided at another point. I don't know that you would do that because you need one and a half one acres and to half build. Acres. And when you put the setbacks and when you look at the, the slope behind you, He's at the practical limit of what he could build there. Right. Mm -hmm. You've got to be able to get a septic in the new, in the new lots. And uh, I'm not, I don't know what the existing building is now. It's a nice little residence set back from the house, from the road, I should say. People are living there? I, I don't know. I believe I drive past it. there a lot to get to my home. And I remember they had pods out there a year ago. I think it looks empty to me right now. It's, yeah, I, I don't think they just repainted it. See, that's Did they repaint it? Yeah, it's, it's a now. very large place. And I'm concerned about it being a, you know, Airbnb. And, uh, and that we have two right next to each other. This could be, you know, you could put it in as something else, a two-family house today, and, you know, six months from now, it could be another store. So, you know, that's our concern. We live here. You know, a lot when we bought our properties, that those that was one piece that land, and the man had his lived-in house, and he came across and introduced himself like all the neighbors in the neighborhood do, except for the LLCs, 
And so, you know, that's my beef. I don't know who the, you know, I don't know what this is gonna be, what, what's gonna turn into, do, should I sell my property before, you know, the whole place ends up being a hotel motel, we, you know? We understand and appreciate your concerns. We're, a, we're all locals as well. We're a volunteer board. We're, we can only speak to the, you know, veracity as, as it accords to the code, not, you know, we can't speculate out what he might do if it's, if they're applying and it falls within the parameters and they, you know, if they meet all the requirements, then, you know, then it can move forward. Uh, I do understand your concerns though. Somebody he, mentioned earlier. He owns a number of businesses in the area. That's, that's why he set up as an, AL, yeah. an LLC. Yeah. Somebody mentioned earlier this uh, utility easement. You you just can't put anything in it. You couldn't. No, you can't build there. Under it, right. under the. But do you do you have to stay so many feet away from it? That that is the the easement is the distance away. You can go right to the edge of the easement. To the edge of the easement, okay. But you can't build anything under the electric. Line. I guess it's a power line. Yes. I never noticed what it was. Is there anybody else on the? Okay. Did we close the public hearing? Second. Everybody satisfied? Oh, two questions were answered. Well, what, what goes from, from now, from this point, you decide on, I mean, really, it's just a technicality whether this goes through, is it not? We give him permission to make this one lot, two lots. His procedure after that is going to go to the building department, give them the plans to build the house, elevations, show everything, and then there's another step that might be of a little help to you, if he does want to do a short-term rental, he has to come back and apply for another permit. So it's not, by us giving him this little subdivision lot, doesn't open up the doors to everything else. And there is a tremendous need for long-term residential housing around here. I mean, these, these Airbnbs have come up and people are collecting rent for a weekend, well, for, uh, landlord charges for a month, so that's uh, that's a concern to all of us. Yeah. And we'd like to know who our neighbors are, not just people that don't know the area and are causing care. accidents or whatever. Yeah. I mean, they don't know what it's like to drive in the snow. You know, when they drive one day a week, you know, in the country, you know, on a big trip up here. Donna, do you have yeah, a comment? Yeah, I, I was just going to say it doesn't have to do with the subdivision. But as far as the STR law, this is the first year that we implemented an STR law. So we're just getting through the first batch of applicants. So things are tightening up in that area. Places are getting shut down, or violations are being made on people. So it, although it might have been rampant before, there is like a rain out there trying to hold things together. Yeah, I heard that it was getting a little bit better. I, I don't know how closely you guys followed it, but the town spent years to working on the law to, to address this problem. Uh, there's two different sections. There's like an unlimited amount for people who live in and then 300, right? Like 150. 150, 300. Only 150 applicants for people who live outside of the town. Well, that's all that's given out. That's all that's given out. That doesn't mean they don't do it, but yeah. that we're monitoring it, and we're writing up violations on it. If that, if, I'm sorry, we have we have several more public hearings sorry, to get through tonight. Um, if, if that's it regarding the subdivision, um, we have yeah, motion and motion. Second. 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 All in favor? All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Um, lost track here. Stout. Stout. Okay. 
Okay, um, open the uh, public hearing for, uh, yeah, she'll read the public notice and then if you would walk through it after she does that. Um, public hearing for, uh, for Henry Stout, the Full Moon Resort. When you're ready, Olivia. Okay. Right. Notice is hereby given that the Town of Shandaken Planning Board will hold a public hearing pursuant to Section 274-B of the state law and as prescribed by the district schedule of area and bulk regulations of the Shandaken Town Code for the purpose of hearing the following applicant. An application for site plan review was submitted to the planning board by Henry Stout for a parcel located at 5-43 Valley View Road in Big Indian, further identified as SBL number 23-2-28, located in a residential 1.5 acre zoning district. The application for site plan review was submitted for approvals to construct an integrated vehicle garage and storage barn, as well as a two-story pool house with facilities on the first floor and a conference room on the second floor. The public hearing is scheduled for January 11th, 2023 at 7 p.m. at the Shandaken Town Hall, 7209 Route 28, Shandaken, New York. Anyone who wishes to make comment in regards to this application may do so during the public hearing. If you are unable to attend, you may send any comments you would like read during the meeting to shandakenbldg at gmail.com or PO Box 134, Shandaken, New York 12480. All such comments must be received no later than 3 p.m. on January 11, 2023. Any, uh, any communications? No. Hmm. Hmm. Is anybody here to speak about the South Project? Do you think so? Public notice is very thorough. <laughs> or Grace. Grace yeah. <laughs> um, we did discuss this at length when Henry was here in December. I mean, I, I personally don't have the need to rehash that. I don't, I don't have any questions at this time. Anybody else? Okay. Well, the um, Ulster County Planning Board wanted more details on, on the plan itself. They, they wanted more details. They weren't sure from what information they received exactly where the barn was going to be so that they needed also let's grading and, and lighting plan let's go over this at the meeting okay once we once okay we come back to yeah um, I move we close the public hearing I said all in favor aye you'll come back to this was just a public hearing once we get through all these then we'll come back around through all these tonight. again tonight yes, yes at the meeting Round one. Guys, as long as it's not another month. <laughs> um, <laughs> next is um, we're on time for a high decker. Uh, we'll open the high decker public hearing. Um, you would read the notice when you're ready, Olivia. Mm -hmm. given that the Town of Shandaken Planning Board will hold a public hearing pursuant to Section 274-B of the state law and as prescribed by 105 Article 3, Procedure and Filing Subdivision Applications of the Shandaken Town Code for the purpose of hearing the following applicant. An application for subdivision was submitted to the Planning Board by John Heidecker on behalf of Joshua Lawler and Elizabeth Vera for a parcel located on Lasher Road in Big Indian, further identified as SBL number 12.7-1-34, located in a residential 1.5 acre zoning district. The applicant would like to subdivide the existing 4.464 acre parcel into two parcels, individual lot acreage to be lot one, 
2.248 acres, lot 2, 2.216 acres. The public hearing is scheduled for January 11th, 2023 at 7.15 p.m. at the Shandaken Town Hall, 7209 Route 28, Shandaken, New York. Anyone who wishes to make comment in regards to this application may do so during the public hearing. If you are unable to attend, you may send any comments you would like read during the meeting to shandakenbldg at gmail.com or PO Box 134, Shandaken, New York, 12480. All such comments must be received no later than 3 p.m. on January 11th, 2023. Communications? No. Hmm. Is there anyone? Is there anyone here to speak about this? No. Okay. I wouldn't mind having my memory refreshed on this one. Yeah. Do you want to just run us through it real quick? Just sure. a refresher. It's um, basically we're splitting the lot, um, and uh, we would like to create a two separate driveways, but they're both in the same area to limit the disturbance. Um, even though we do have road frontage on one of the lots uh, on the road, we, uh, we designed it this way, I think, for... I remember. Now, this had the retaining wall you think you need because of the grade to get onto okay. Lasher Road? Yeah, okay. this is the map I think about last time. Yeah, I remember Yes, now. yes, yes. That's the regrade. Yeah, that's yeah, gotcha. that's deep. It's, it's two well, separate. They're two drives. separate driveways. We're just kind of sharing the entrance area where, where the driveways will be constructed to, to limit the disturbance rather than that. So they'll be kind of touching, but you've got the width for two exactly. separate driveways. Two separate driveways. Sure, there's a lot of grading work to do there. Yeah. Makes sense to see where yeah, you can. Yeah. 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 Any place it could be less. Yeah. Yeah, since the last, and I told you last time we had approval from the health department, we now have. Yeah. <laughs> um, I move we close the public here. If no one has any other, nobody else has any questions? No. No, no, no. Okay. Motion on the table, we just need a second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, next we'll, we got uh, one more, one more. One more. And then we'll go back into the regular meeting and we'll come back through all these again. I think you're scheduled for 7.30. Oh. You caught up too fast. Come on, guys. <laughs> 11, 11 minutes of free time? Yes. All right. I got you. <laughs> Are we? Jeff Murphy. Oh, is there, there's one for Watanabe tonight at 7.30? Yeah. Okay. So we're, we're stepping... We're coming back at 7.30. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we're just, okay. we're just sitting here for 10 minutes. 10 minutes. I do read a book. Fun time. Make sure everyone's. Yeah. Not leave the room. Just move up front. You good, Ellen? Yeah. Uh, we'll we'll open the Watanabe public hearing.
Olivia, read your public notice when you're ready. Okay. Uh, notice is hereby given that the Town of Shandaken Planning Board will hold a public hearing pursuant to Section 274-B of the state law and as prescribed by the district schedule of area and bulk regulations of the Shandaken Town Code for the purpose of hearing the following applicant. An application for a special use permit was submitted to the Planning Board by Mago Wat Watanabe for a parcel located at 113 Christie Court in Phoenicia, further identified as SBL number 14.1-3-11, located in a residential 1.5 acre zoning district. The applicant would like to convert their existing pool house slash garage into an accessory dwelling. The public hearing is scheduled for January 11th, 2023 at 7.30 p.m. at the Shandaken Town Hall, 7209 Route 28, Shandaken, New York. Anyone who wishes to make comment in regards to this application may do so during the public hearing. If you are unable to attend, you may send any comments you would like read during the meeting to shandakenbldg at gmail.com or P.O. Box 134, Shandaken, New York, 12480. All comments must be received no later than 3 p.m. on January 11, 2023. Uh, nothing. No communications. Um, just refresh our memories real quick on this one. There's an existing um, half garage and half kind of pool house facing on the pool that has a uh, loft above it, and we would like to put a kitchen in it and turn it into an accessory dwelling. <clears throat> he has no plans for short term rent at all. Just make that clear up front. Thank you for saying that. <laughs> No communication. Is there anyone here from the public to speak regarding this project? At the last meeting, I recall we had a letter from the community saying that we spoke to all the people and everything went well. We yes, did. yes. Everything went well. We got all the letters back. Excellent. Further comments from the board regarding this project at this stage? No. No. Okay. I'm looking for a motion to close the public hearing. So moved. Yeah, I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 <clears throat> okay. So it's our understanding that now we can just take our building plans to the building department and get a permit without. Not yet. Not yet? That was the public hearing. Now we have to have the regular meeting. Oh, okay, sure. Uh, <laughs> Um, okay. Never, you guys all. Set. All right, we're gonna. This begins the regular monthly meeting for January for the Town of Shandaken Planning Board. Uh, attendance is unchanged. We're just missing Joanne. Um, has everyone had a chance to review the lengthy minutes from last month? I think next month is going to look like <laughs> I had, um, no, I lost them. I had one minor comment, Olivia, on page six, I think it was. On page six. <laughs> page five. Um, it was just, a, it was a, a simple typo, but it's a number. Oh, okay. Um, in the, uh, the, uh, the Campbell. Laura and Bruce Campbell. It just says um, it's an R.15 zoning district, and you meant to say 1.5. That's oh, it. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bless you.
Uh, okay. Regarding that, uh, except for that minor change, any other comments on the minutes? No. Okay. Motion to approve. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, any communications? Business, new business. All right. Okay. Then let's jump right into it. Um, we started with, with uh, Vivian. You would recuse oh, yourself? Yes. through your project again, please. I don't have a map for her. Do you have a map here? Do you have maps? There should be a map. the last page of the application. Yeah, here it is. line of um, Bill Colagrandi, who is the one who wrote the email in support of the application. Um, it's not visible from his house because of um, trees in the way, um, and it's not visible from the property on the other side because of the house in the way, and on the back is State Forest. So, um, and there's a large driveway where there's plenty of parking. So it's it's a small, pretty much a tiny house kind of setup. So it's only suitable for a couple of people to stay in. Remind me, did you one time had you had two lots and you've combined them? Yes, I did. That's what I remember from months yes. ago. Okay, yes. so now this is a one plain. So now there's no lot line going gotcha. through it. But still, you can see the evidence of it there. Still. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I recall that as being uh, the obstacle at the time. Right. And what are your intense intentions with it, this? It's currently space? being used as a family guest house and as a uh, short-term rental, but not back-to-back -back rentals. It's maybe weekend rentals for the most part, and family isn't staying there. My partner has a large family. He's one of 11 children, so we have a lot of nieces and nephews and grandnieces and grandnephews. And, um, from the uh, CBA for this distance between the main house and the guest house. What is that distance? I think it's maybe nine what is it about feet or something? Yeah, nine and a half feet. And there's a is there a bathroom in this? Yes. 
What are the dimensions? Second to last page of the application. Thank you. So remind me, Cliff, at this point, this will be voting on approving this, the special use permit? Yeah, that's what we're up to. Does anyone have any further questions? If it's not premature, I would move that we approve the special use permit. Um, does anybody have any? Does everyone have to do on this? I was going to abstain. I was not here for when Vivian came and presented it by case last night. Second. One, two, three, four. So we're quarry. We got four. Yep. Is this roll? Yes. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Cliff for Bufo? Um, yes. Okay. Art Christie? Abstain. Oh, uh, Joanne is not here. John Horn? Yeah. Alan Shiner? Yes. Mm. Sam Spada? Yes. And Vivian? Is the applicant? I mean, we <laughs> Next was um, Wodensky. Yeah. Um, okay, were there any further questions uh, from the board regarding this subdivision application? to approve the application as as written. So moved. Second. Cliff Rabufo? Yes. Hmm. Art Christie? Yes. Uh, John Horn? Yes. Alan Shiner? Yes. Sam Spada? Yes. Vivian Welton? Yes. Um, come in here is easy. Yeah, I, I'm driving by here every day. Yeah. Just Grace will let me know once you drop them off. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Don. Have a good evening. Okay. Um, moving right along, we've got Henry Stout for the full moon. Um, okay, we had some comments from county on that. Did they contact us yet? Not officially. Okay, so they um, were not clear on the exact location of the proposed barn from the materials they were given. Uh, so they want more information about that. Um, they want more information about the lighting, the landscaping, um, and the grading. And there was also a requirement for the health department, but I'm not sure what that refers to, possibly a pool house. Yes. Uh huh. Right. Did you um, receive a communication from them yet? Um, uh, Elster County Planning Board. Or they, do they still send no. to the applicant or just to the just to, the just to us? Okay. So That's then we have to. Structure, right? What's that? That's existing, right? There's two structures in the application. Neither one of which is existing. 
Now we had, um, I believe we wanted these to be on one application. Does that sound right to everyone? Mr. Sal would like to keep them separate if that's possible. But if they have to be on one, then that's for this board to decide. Um, I think there was a timing issue. We wanted to get I know the season the, going. Well, the pool so is different. There are different projects with different yeah. concerns. For example, the one, the, the shop garage is, uh, requires a zoning board, whereas the other one doesn't, for example. The other one requires board of health, whereas the shop garage doesn't. So they're, they're distinct, um, which is why I thought perhaps it's best to keep them that way from the point of view of the process. No building permits, you can't do that, but I don't know if it matters for zoning for um, special permits. It doesn't come up very often, frankly. <laughs> like, I don't think, I did. For, again, for example, yeah. I don't think that the county has any concern about the pool house project. Their concern would be. Sure, because that's more set in the middle. It's right. I, the, the, the shop garage is right on the edge of the road. I don't understand mm -hmm. why they would want it all the time. Properties large enough, the two projects are far, yeah, far I mean, apart enough. I'm comfortable with them being separate. All right. It doesn't bother me at all. Um, okay. So then we will address the, um, the garage first here. Um, so that was grading and lighting. Landscaping. Landscaping. Um, the location of the barn and the um, health department approval for the pool house. It's a fair comment. We got a lot of detail on the barn, its structure, yeah. and, and this tiny little thumbnail shows where it's located. Um, There was a, there was a, more than a thumbnail. Is there something missing? There is a plot plan. Yeah, there's more than that. Just all mixed up in the pile here. I didn't see anything in the materials in my folder today. There is a full size map. He, there is a full size map. I don't know why it's not here, but here, he's correct. He submitted a full size map. Do we have a map? I'm just trying to refresh myself where this thing sits on ground. Do we have the a bar? We ha yeah, we did. A map was submitted. It's not down I mean, here. I, don't I can know explain why. it if you're at all familiar with the problem. Somewhat. Yeah. If, you're, if you're heading uh, south on County Route 47, mm -hmm. so it's up hill going to past Full Moon. Right. Just before you get to the main facility of Full Moon on the right hand side, there's an existing stockade fence and a utility area. You've mm -hmm. got past the pile of gravel and some stuff. So this is to go um, okay. in that area. Before the main entrance. Before the main facility, on the right-hand side. Um, this is that sharp turn. There's a fence there in that parking area. Mm -hmm. And then it's going down here. It drops off. Um, yeah, it's it drops off fairly steeply there. All right, cool. Well, yeah, thank you. So this, this was a little bigger. Uh, yeah. yeah, I think that's an A and A by living of this picture here. Yeah, uh, yeah. This is what. This is what. Oh, okay. Did. There's a um, Yeah, and it was right. It was did 30. Did the county get a copy of that? Yes. What are you looking at? I believe so. What are you looking at? There was no contours or anything on it. I'm sure that was their question. That's why the grading comment. I understand the grading, but the, the location comment. I understand the grading and the light. Yes, I said. Yeah, as for that, I'm not sure why. So is that something that then I would deal directly with the county on, or I deal with that through you? Um, it's just their, um, it's their comment to us. It's still. Oh, so you. It's still us. It's a, ah, yeah, got it, yeah, got it, got yeah, it, got yeah, it. yeah. So if we know where it is. Got it, got it. Okay, so, I mean, do, you, do um, we did talk about, but I'd be happy to run through actually all of those elements again. Uh, if you would, if you would address those comments in specific, I, um, yeah. How high above the road will it be? That's a good question. The way um, the ground floor of the building, a substantial percentage of it will be close to 10 feet below the road. Okay. There's a, there's a hump in the grade right there. Um, and so there's a cut that the building will sit down in. 
as I said in the last meeting, Full Moon Resort lives and dies on its aesthetic presentation. So the, the location of this building has to do with our assessment of what is going to be the most beautiful and look the most traditional in terms of a farm farmscape. Um, so the building sits um, that as you come up upon the building, there will only be two feet of at the highest point in that hump, which is I'd say perhaps 50% of the building, and then it, the grade drops off when you go back to the full size of the sidewall, but there would only be about two feet above grade. So the building is, the, the face of the building is diminished from the point of view of its perspective as you come up the road. Yep. And that's, that's very deliberate in the design. Um, and then uh, the grade does drop off, and as I said, um, what we're uh, planning on doing is a, a couple um, stone retaining walls, and then like if you think of a traditional barn, a lot of times the farmers would put them in a little knoll or something, so that you had access to the bottom through that. So it's, it's designed in that way also um, to work with the grade and the landscape to have the aesthetic of a traditional barn in a farmscape. It's a gambrel roof um, with, uh, the, and the idea again, I think I presented this in the last meeting, but I'll reiterate, the, the structure itself is a, a metal, is a steel structure, mm -hmm. so it's a relatively economical subframe, but the exterior aesthetic will be wood and cedar, and it'll be a metal roof, a galvanized metal roof, which matches the other aesthetic of the pavilion at Fulman Resort. The idea is to fit it into the landscape and you know, kind of um, have that, have it be, it's the first thing you're gonna encounter as you come gotcha. onto our property, and the idea is to have it be, and there's a beautiful kind of view out across the property from there, so the whole idea is to have it be an aesthetic asset as well as a very critical utility. And the, the height of fiber call on that was uh, 35 feet? I think the total height is 35 feet. So at that point, you would be 20, you would be, if you're 10 feet, you'd be 25 feet. It'd be like a two-story building from the road, essentially. Yeah. That you would say. Well, right, because it is, uh, it is a 14-foot sidewall, because it is a big garage doors. But that's more on the back side that nobody will really ever see. You'd see it from our lower property. But it's really not visible from any other angle. That's all forest preserve on that side. And again, there. What's on the other side of the road there? On the other side of the road is uh, is our property. Um, there's another there's another 50 acres. So right directly here is that's your property 50 as well. So we okay. we the way I describe it when I'm describing the moon is we have an upper field, a middle field, and a lower field mm -hmm. uh, in that valley. So the upper field is there. That's also where in 2017. Uh, well, there's a section there that doesn't have anything on it, but just south of that, on that same parcel, is where we had the eight uh, cottages that we built. Um, and then the rest of that is just landscape, rolling meadows. Perfect. There is a, um, there's an access road up there as well. Um, and the, the lighting comment, yeah. that's basically, um, it's yeah. got to be all dark sky compliant, everything's downward facing. Yeah, uh, again. Um, what you want as well for your own. I think that that's a theme that I'm trying to get across, is that it's, it's very much in our interest to address all of these things right. effectively. And I think also, um, for whatever it's worth, I don't know, but there's also kind of a, a precedent and a track record for the, the kind of work that we do and the aesthetic that we're trying to create there. Well, you're your own neighbor. <laughs> we, we are our own neighbor, but no, there's, you know, there's people on the road and so on, and, and we're a member of the community, and um, you know, we do make an effort and, and like to think that we're an asset to the community. And, and this would be, this is no exception. In fact, I think that it will clean up some of what is sure, not, as, not, as sight, some of your not as sight sure. as we might want. And a big part of this for us is improving that image. Uh, is there anything else on that list, Vivian? Uh, landscaping. Yeah, so the landscaping will be uh, the, the finished grade and um, Primarily, I would say, you know, it'll be sloping, mm -hmm. landscaping, um, off the backside, and uh, grass and seed, you know, mobile and, and um, uh, stone, stone walls, you know, the, the same kind of motif that you see at Full Moon will be mm -hmm. consistent. Um, but no dramatic, uh, you know, no, um, don't have plans.
plans for in that particular area. Um, we do not have plans for significant planting and so on. Is there a fence behind this whole section as well? There is not a fence on the back side. Though we would add, uh, we do intend to add the split rail fence. Mm -hmm. If you pass through Full Moon, you see we have a lot of that and we're mm -hmm. continuing to add it. We love that aesthetic. Um, so, you know, again, the, the aesthetic is the traditional farmscape. You know, the Vermont or the traditional New York Dutch farm um, idea and the, the rolling hills and meadows and that's a, that's a big part of our whole. Is there, where's the fence planning? Uh, where are you planning to put the split Well, on the, on the back side, so that, uh, again, as we discussed in the last meeting, that the reason that, the, and this is why I went to zoning, the reason that the, the building is head, held close to the road mm -hmm. is so that the utility aspect is hidden mm -hmm. from the road. Um, so to do so on that backside, there is a relatively steep grade. Um, so I would put the split rail fence at the top of that grade as a, you know, just a, as a barrier. Mm -hmm. um, and there would be a, um, there would be a, a driveway, a sloping driveway on the backside. There'd be a flat area um, up top and then there would be a sloping gravel driveway mm -hmm. that goes down into that, uh, follows that retaining wall I was talking about and comes around and there's a little area below where you could enter the basement of the building. Um, and then it just naturally, the grade from there, from the, from the lowest level, naturally drops down to what we call our lower field. We already have a, what we call a nature trail. And, you know, our mowers and things can go out that way and access the rest of the property. Um, Do we have so a and also the other thing about it is that, that I like is that it gets some of our mowers and things off the road. Mm -hmm. uh, this project does, it, it allows that connection to the property. And I personally don't need to see a landscape plan for this location, I think that's fine. I think in this case, the county's comments are correct. It's always preferable to have an illustrative site plan where you're talking about what you're going to do instead of seeing it. But been there 125 years, you've proven <laughs> that you're going to do something of quality, so I can live without it in, in this specific case. Mm -hmm. It's all very interesting, but it, has anything he said lead us to turn him down? I mean, it's all, Not for me. it's all wonderful, yeah. but what land, whatever landscaping he wants to do, it's going to have landscaping. I mean, no landscaping. What dirt? <laughs> it's not grounds for denial. Uh, so I think we're getting into all sorts of details. That, uh, so the only um, so the other issue is the setback, unless someone has. Well, what exactly did the? I didn't see the paperwork from the county. We didn't get that. No, I'm just relaying it from the meeting. Yeah, because the what they post. give us approved, disapproved, mm -hmm. or approved with modification. It, it, and if yeah, they the didn't. Majority the, plus one, we can mm -hmm. overrule the county. Right. So. Right. I, th I think we have enough people here to, if we're all in favor, to override even without having heard from them. The, the issues they had, well, the health department, uh, have, are you going to be dealing with the health department? Again, so this is why we have, right now, we're specifically just talking about the shopping garage. Right. right? Which has, there's no water septic concerns mm -hmm. there. But for the pool there. house, there is. And that's pool what house, you would need. going to have to be contingent on BOH. Mm -hmm. Have you already gone to the zoning board? Yeah, I'm going next week. I come back to the public for the zoning board of appeals public hearing. Yes. Correct, Chris? Yeah. So yeah, the, the zoning board is considering that setback concern. Um, How far is, actually is the setback? Right here, here, twenty five feet. It's, it's fifteen to twenty feet from the side of the road. So it's, it I think it's. I think we're asking. The, there'd be no issue when they plow the snow. Absolutely no issue. No, it's 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 all it's it's directly in line with the existing fence line that's been there for okay. 20 years. Thank you. And not only that, but just to allay that concern a little further, again in that area, um, the building is sunk in. Yes. So there's a there's actually even a, a knoll there with you know snow. But the, there's no issue with even the most major snow. You can. I mean, I'm if there's I'm, I'm okay to make a motion that for this. That for the barn, that that application be approved. I, well, I would second if you did that. I, so I'm moving that way. Yeah. Can we add the condition that the variance is approved? Yeah, I was just yes. going to say that. Yes. 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 Yeah. 
pen, pending approval for the variance by the ZBA. Yeah. And for the pool house, we're not going to vote on it. This is separate. This is separate. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. This is just the garage barn. Are we going to vote just separately on the garage? Right. Now? Yes. Yes. Just for the garage. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Appreciate it. Roll call vote. This is yes. Who's okay. Seconded? So two separate. Um, Art. Thank you. Right. Sam. Uh, Sam. Uh, I second it. Cliff Rabufo? Yes. Art Christie? Yes. Joanne Kalb? John Horn? Yes. Alan Shiner? Yes. Sam Spada? Yes. Vivian Welton? Yes. Now the pool house. And the only comment uh, that the Ulster County Planning Board had was this. Pending health department approval. That's required. Yeah, absolutely. No question. The, um, <coughs> just uh, as a point of reference, doesn't that doesn't the health department just for the hell of it? It's actually going to be twofold the need for the health department approvals on this one because there's going to need to be the health department approval on the swimming pool, which is permitted for building, but is going to require because it's commercial pool health department. So that's under engineering. Um, and that will go through the health department for the swimming pool. And then in addition, there will be a need uh, for the bathrooms in the pool house. Uh, we'll need a separate approval for that one. And, I, and uh, in addition, uh, so just because yeah. the DEP is going to want to be also signed off. Mm -hmm. So does this application also include the new building over the pool? Or is that this going to be separate? This application is specifically for the building. Over the pool. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. I muddied the water there a little bit. But the pool itself is already addressed with the building department. Right. But it will need the health department approval as well. So the health yes. department will be involved on both sides of that. Yes, we're technically just addressing the pool house. Yes. So is the pool existing? We're replacing the existing uh -huh. pool. But that's not under this application. Okay. I'm sorry to muddy the waters with that. But, you know, it is relevant to the overall conversation. So the swimming pool is permitted separately and, and will be dealt with with the health department independently, and then in addition, we want to build this mm -hmm. building over one end. That is what we are addressing. Mm -hmm. What do you say over? You mean actually there will be a section. The pool is is yep. um, this pool is twenty by forty feet, and then there's a sixteen by sixteen foot uh, piece off the end of that pool, which actually will be indoor. Okay. So there is a a, a small pool. So it's a it's a type of kind of a ski resort, swimming pool type of thing where you can swim out into the pool. It's a, it's a Henry, would you mind coming up here and yeah. just walking us through yeah. this, where on this map we are? We do have a better map of this also. Thank you. This one? Yeah, that's great. This plan's it. Yeah. Um, sure. So this is the big, easier elevations for the building. This is facing north, this side, which is looking out over the swimming pool and down the valley. Um, and then the side walls, and this is facing south, which is kind of toward a couple areas where we have cottages, so there's not much. This is the main entrance, relatively low key. And there is landscaping and planting definitively around this structure. There will be a you know, bluestone patio around. This is going to be a, a marquee. Centerpiece of the facility, taking the old kind of. Where is the section where they swim out under? That is here. So this is the building. Okay. And this is a section of the pool that's inside. This is the front wall of the building. So there's a six foot entrance here that you can swim in to the inside. That's 16 by 16 feet of swimming pool inside. So you'd enter the building here, and, and this would be open. So we have locker rooms, a sauna. The stairs that go downstairs to the basement, and then also stairs that go upstairs to um, the, the second floor of the building is just an open um, space. Open space, I'm basically calling it a conference room. Um, which, if you look at the elevations again, we're actually pretty excited about because this sitting up there, this would be just a really very, very beautiful place, and it, it addresses a, a need of a you know going forward with our business, trying to do some more corporate retreats and things like that. This whole thing addresses that. There's a second floor in the pool house? There is, yes. Okay. 
You want it? The bathrooms are going to be on the first floor? The bathrooms are on the first floor. Yeah. I'll bring you some. Okay. And there's four plans behind it. These are the mm -hmm. elevations. So this is the, this face is the swimming pool here. Mm -hmm. This is the entrance on this side. And then if you look at the floor plans, you can see this is the entrance to the building. And then this is what I said, faces the pool. That would be the mm -hmm. north side of the building. And this is where you swim in. This is the indoor part of the swimming pool. I see. And then so as you walk in, this will be here. And then you have the changing rooms. And then you can also walk out this way and gain access to the hot tub. Oh, OK. So you go outside to get to the hot tub. Yes. Yeah. Or you can swim to it. Oh, OK. And this, how do you close this up? Uh, it's just a. Um, Probably if you've ever seen like those um, plastic curtains flaps. that they have flaps yeah. okay. like in, in refrigeration. Or yeah. I know construction is not our yep. thing, but I'm, I do have just curious. Yep. The type of filtration you'll be using for the water treatment? Is it going to be traditional chlorine, salt water? You don't that's going to be, that's a health department issue that's going to be with the engineering. I'm not going to, I can't that's specifically fine. comment on that because I don't. I don't, I'm not the expert on that. No, no worries. So I'm sure the commercial, there's a specific so from the requirement there they is. have. Yeah. I mean, ideally, I'd love to go saltwater system, but they, they have certain requirements. Yeah, I, gonna be I don't know enough to, to give any advice on that. The only thing I do know is that whenever we have a chlorine environment, having done indoor pools, highly corrosive, so building department construction has to look at that with extra scrutiny because it attacks anything metal, it affects structure, it's, it's Anytime you have an interior pool at this scale, it's just well. Keep in mind the interior pool is only 16 feet by 16, feet. but it's relevant. Your, your point's it, relevant. Yeah, it's going to be. The, I think that the um, I think that the manufacturing company or the building can address those concerns right. in their engineering. And it's not our agreement, but I just want to make sure yeah. you're thinking about it because yep. it'll prevent heartache later on. Yep. Very much under consideration. further questions or comments regarding yeah, this. Um, just the um, same thing with the lighting, you know. Um, that's going to, yeah, that's within the center of the main facility. The, the pool will have lights in it and all Yeah, that still, still dark sky, same thing. Even yeah, it's all not near neighbors. The dark sky is asset. I move we approve the application for the pool house. Pending DOH approval. Second. Clifford Bufo? Yes. Art Christie? Yes. Joanne Kalb? John Horn? Yes. Alan Shiner? Yes. Sam Spada? Yes. Vivian Welton? Yes. Okay. Um, thank you, Henry. You're, you're all set on our end. Yep. Go ahead, Donnie. Yeah. Um, so I already have one building cleared out. So now these are two separate. That's correct. So we're talking about three building permits. Like, if these both come to an approval, they can go on. One I think. I think oh. in this case, technically, we're not supposed to have more than one permit. Right. Yeah. I mean, that's a sham agency. Yeah. I think in this case, because the projects are being approved by this board, right. you, you may. It's up to you. Exactly. But at your discretion, I'd say it's all right to have. Mm -hmm. And I know that Mr. Sell is responsible about the permits being renewed. Sure. Need to be oh, we're gonna. Yeah, this is gonna move. Yeah. Once we get going, we, we don't have, have three. Well, we yeah, yeah. I mean, if you wanted to redraft the swimming could, pool permit, we could do that. Well, so if they came through at the same time, the, the, the swimming pool permit came through first. But if you yeah. wanted to redraft the swimming pool permit to be one with the pool house, that would make sense. Now that we have approval, then we'd have one for each location, which might okay. that makes sense. All right, we can do it. <laughs> okay, thank you all so much. Next week. Thank you. Yes. You. 645. Got it. Don't forget your jacket. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, all right, next is um, uh, Heidecker. Um, any further questions, comments, musings? Stories about, the, stories about the neighbors. <laughs> I 
move we approve the application for subdivision. Are we? Um, we're not waiting. Right? <laughs> we're good. Yeah. yeah. Simple. All right. Need a second. Okay. Arthur. He waved that. He, he waved. waved. I, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you want to know? <laughs> All right. Uh, Clifford Buffo? Yes. Art Christie? Yes. Joanne Kalb? John Horn? Yes. Alan Shiner? Yes. Sam Spada? Yes. Vivian Welton? Yes. Thank you again for the, you're all set. You're Thank you for the <laughs> thorough map. We appreciate that. <laughs> and you're going to give me your copies, the mylar and all that. Give them to me. She'll let, sure they get She'll let me know once they're dropped off, and then I'll Absolutely. sign them. Is there any, there's nothing we need to add, no wise or anything else that would we're, we're good as, as it stands? I didn't see anything. Okay, I think we had No, we, were, and we, we did, um, and we have reviewed the EAS. Okay. Right. Thank you. Thank you. So Thank you. Thank you. Last year, Watanabe. Watanabe. You made it, Jeff. <laughs> I did. How long has it been? I think we feel. <laughs> I have a question before yes. we start. The spelling of the first name. It's on the applications. Written M A G O. Mago. Mago. Yeah, is that correct? Uh, that's what he calls himself. I have because it sounds like a Japanese name, yeah, and Watanabe is, is definitely yeah, a Japanese yeah. name, so yeah. it, I doubt it would be Margo. So, so here <laughs> is the thing that's in the, um, in the county. Um, so that's oh, it says Junko, so that's a well, different that's person. Yeah. Okay. okay, so it does say Mago right yes. here. Got no comments myself. Anybody else? Nope. Sam? I move the approval. <laughs> <laughs> Second. All right. Thanks, Cliff Rabufo? Yes. Mm -hmm. Art Christie? Yes. Joanne Kalb? Yes. John Horn? Yeah. Alan Shiner? Yep. Sam Spada? Yes. Vivian Welton? Yes. Officially. Now you're the people's business. Um, <laughs> good. good to go? Yes. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There's no, uh, um, county liaison report. Okay. Other than the um, full moon that came up, um, which we addressed, there were two things of note for the town, um, financial, well, actually, there is a, um, it's a climate smart community that they're trying to organize each town to join that, that group. And it's very, it's based on the same model as the housing smart community. No, I've got it backwards. We're already in the climate smart and this is the housing smart, so okay. So um, it's about several towns have joined and we are being encouraged to join. Um, the town board already has the Climate Smart template and there's a certain number of hoops they have to jump through to get to a certain status to, uh, to um, qualify for certain funding that they can apply for. So this is a whole process and it's going to take a while to get from start to a high enough status to really get significant funding, but it's worth doing and the, there is money available. And the other thing is um, there is money now available for the repair of bridges on non-federal, they're non-federal bridges, in other words, local bridges. Uh, they have to have a bridge number, so not, not just any old bridge. They have to have a bridge number, but there is funding available to repair such a bridge. So I passed that on to board members, passing it on to the highway I department. I have a question for you. To mm -hmm. join that uh, housing smart, whatever, mm -hmm. do we have to change our building codes? No, I don't think so. I, I mean, there's nothing mentioned about changing codes. Well, it's, it's a relevant question. 
It is. If, if, if Housing Smart, essentially, at the end of the day, if what they're looking for is multiple units city. in one structure, the town of Shandaken doesn't allow for that. That kind of construction is not allowed here. I, I, I don't know if they're going into that kind of specifics yet at mm -hmm. this time, but since I don't really know anything more about the project, it's a good question. So I guess the town board will, will you know, find out more about it, probably join because really Why? no reason not to. Why not? <laughs> the reason not to would be is if they uh, impose restrictions. Well, then we just drop out of the program if it comes to that. I mean, if, if the town board will always have the option to leave if there is a, a you know, a problem, I would. Yeah, these, 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 this type of program generally looks for higher densities. That's how you solve the housing problem. Yeah. And it could be antithetical to our, to our code and, and the culture of this town. So it just needs close reading, that's all. Right, but right. They put the word smart in there, and that makes I like it already. That makes it smart. <laughs> See? It doesn't like smart. I wish people used smart. the word smart when they were talking about me a little more often. You can buy smart I know, I know lots of people that can vote against something smart. <laughs> um, I just want to make one further comment. We didn't read the EAFs in as we <laughs> typically do for all these projects that we approved tonight, but I just want to, in the minutes that we did review them as a board and um, we found them to be fine. Good point. Didn't you guys read the EAFs in during the presentations last week? Not all of them, no. No? No. We reviewed them. Now. Um, anything else? Um, since I wasn't at the interview, um, for our applicant for the planning board and in the minutes it was stated that sh she was going to be considered for being the liaison to the county I just I, I need a little feedback about what the intention of the board is is that you're going to because you sit on the planning board you no I, I that was already said yeah. in the past um, but as far as your impression of her as to whether she'd be a good candidate, whether um, she had expressed interest uh, in being the liaison. I don't want to discuss that. I mean, if, if we want to go into executive session, I, 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 since she would be taking my place, then I would have to take her through the process and introduce it to the county. And I don't know anything about her, never met her, don't know anybody who knows her. I'm pretty much in the dark. and. Um, you know, I understand why there's a feeling that there's a need for privacy and being able to speak freely in personnel issues, but I don't have a means to be in on the interview because it wasn't taped or it wasn't on the video. So I'm kind of, you know, I'm at a loss here as to whether I should even recommend her for the liaison. Sure. So that's why I need some feedback in some way. I mean, if you guys want to discuss this at the workshop? Yes, please. Because we're rehashing something that we did in executive session. Right. Yeah. Right, so because I, I need some way to know what was said and, and mm -hmm. what how to proceed. Yeah. That's a reasonable ask. Well, who appoints? The we town did. board. We, we make recommendations. We can't discuss it right now. No, it doesn't involve John because John was already uh, recommended and that decision was already voted on, yeah, this I isn't, presume. This, isn't this, isn't this is position. for the, this is the liaison. liaison. The liaison. Yeah. Yeah. But the discussion that took place was involving John and this woman. No, I, I think if, if the board recommends that she be offered the liaison job, which is what's in the minutes, and what was said, I guess, after the executive session ended, then there needs to be another action taken. In other words, she needs to either be offered or not offered, and, and then she needs to decide whether to accept, and then the board needs to be informed, and then the board needs to vote to... to um, I know in the past years they managed to manage through it. They've been Nobody asked for this. They just introduced the person to show them the ropes and what's going on. Is there a vacancy or you're it? I'm it. I'm it. So if if she's going to replace me, then that means I step down and she takes my place. That's right. And then 
I, I think it's a good way to introduce somebody to what the planning board does. It would be nice if she had some experience. And that's not required. Um, All right. Well, I think it's late tonight and everybody's tired. So let's either workshop or get to the session. And we don't, you're, you're currently serving as the county yeah. liaison. We don't necessarily have to do anything. Right. So let's, let's not. So that sounds okay to everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Has, has the board voted, the town board? We didn't make any recommendations. Oh, we this is that. just a discussion. Yeah. Okay. There's nothing that has to happen here. It's That's just, what I'm saying. Yeah. You no, there's nothing. I will try and find her phone number and invite her to the workshop if you'd like. Is that what we're saying? That it'll be a conversation held at the workshop? I think among the board. Okay. Yeah, because we're, we're discussing whether it is. I honestly don't know if she has we're any interest in it. It was just something somebody said. It's not, oh, yeah. it's, you know, it's not even. See, it was my impression that you're going to actively solicit someone to take my place. I, I yes, no, yeah. we're, not, we're not kicking you out. <laughs> no, I mean, but then, you know, then I'm I'm not hearing anything more. <laughs> so. All right. Isn't there an alternate to your job? Sam is the alternate, oh, okay. and Sam is rarely available. <laughs> so we discussed this after the <laughs> This was all discussed. We discussed this portion now. after. I mean now. He means now. That's mm -hmm. nice. I get a motion to adjourn the meeting? So moved. Yeah. No, no, no. I've been waiting for that. <laughs> Second. I said. All right. Mm -hmm. Isn't first? All in favor? I'm sorry. Aye. 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 What's the date of the workshop? I mean, two weeks from now would be the 25th, right? So it has to be the 25th, unless it's 32 days of January. Right now, there is nobody coming before this board to that workshop, as of today. As of today. And I just ruined it, didn't I? That won't hold. Now I'm going to get 20 phone calls. Of course. I just ruined it. You have to. And that's on me. If this happens again on the 25th, that's on me. All right. OK. Let's go but the issue that we just discussed that we're going to bring up at the workshop, I think that it could be postponed if there's not, no other reason to have mm -hmm. a workshop. That's true. It's <laughs> <laughs> an excellent point. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. In regard to landscaping, or do they just? No,